The city of Minneapolis, Hennepin County, and the state are combining resources to address the growing problem of homelessness. Today, the coalition announced plans to create three new shelters. As Reg Chapman reports, officials believe it's a good start, but more work needs to be done. One look around city parks in Minneapolis and you will see tents serving as home for people who have nowhere else to live. We do in fact have a homeless crisis now in our city and it has been compounded by so many different issues. Mayor Jacob Fry says city, county and state combined resources to make this project reality. It's a $20 million investment with $8.3 million coming from the city, 9.3 from the county and $1.8 million from the state going to three separate homeless shelters. A culturally sensitive shelter will house 50 members of the Native American community near Cedar and Franklin Avenues. The second shelter site will be reserved for women experiencing homelessness. The Gordon Center site here in the Willard Hay neighborhood of North Minneapolis has sat empty since 1990. After a few renovations, it will house 50 black and brown women who are experiencing homelessness. The proximity of the Gordon Center to North Point's culturally specific services for black residents, that means that women will have access to treatment, to job search, health care, other wraparound supports. It's incredibly important that that access is there. The third site on East 14th Street will house the medically vulnerable in our community, including designated units for veterans. That will provide homes and health care for 203 people. This collaboration will help reduce the number of homeless people we see in tents like here in Powderhorn Park. But Mayor Fry and others agree this effort would not solve the problems of homelessness in our city. Yes, it makes a dent, but no, we still have a whole lot of work to do. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The goal for now is to get people out of harm's way, provide them with emergency shelter, and then move them toward affordable and stable housing. The Minneapolis City Council should approve the funding for the new shelters next week. The first shelter for the Native American community is expected to be up and running by the end of the year.